Think of all the animals you see in a zoo. Lions, gorillas, flamingos, leopards. They all have one thing in common. They're wild. But what about dogs, cats, hamsters, and chickens? Why aren't they in the zoo? Well, that's because they're domesticated animals. Domesticated means an animal is tame enough to be a pet or live on a farm. Humans over thousands of years have managed to domesticate dozens of creatures to serve our needs, whether as pets, poultry, or pack animals. But how did so many wild animals become people's best friends? It turns out that every domesticated animal has a wild relative. Let's start with the dog. Dogs don't exist in the wild. They came from a type of wolf that lived alongside humans 25,000 years ago in Ice Age Siberia. There are several theories about how dogs came to be. No one knows for sure. One idea is that some wolves followed human hunters to share our meals. Another theory is that people followed the wolves and stole their kills. Either way, similar hunting styles brought humans and wolves together, and over time, some of the wild wolves and ancient humans accepted each other as companions. Over generations, people bred the wolves that were most docile. That particular wolf species went extinct, but the dog was born. What makes a dog a dog? One thing is their tail. The tail of a wolf hangs down. A dog's tail curls up. Most dogs' faces are shorter than wolves, and they're generally not as heavy. But most of the transformation happened on the inside. Dogs are extremely loyal to humans and are willing to be trained. The biggest difference? Wolves can't be tamed. The oldest evidence of dogs living with people is from a 15,000-year-old grave in Germany that has the bones of two people and their dog. Other animals soon joined the growing family. Nomadic people in the Middle East around 14,000 years ago were the first to breed the rugged mountain mouflon into domesticated sheep. A few thousand years later, people in Asia transformed the vicious wild boar into a gentle pig. One of the most remarkable feats of domestication in all of history was the transformation of the massive wild ox, the Eurasian auroch, into today's milk cow. People in ancient Egypt 10,000 years ago found an easy solution to their mouse problem. Wild cats easily adapted to living with humans in a mutually beneficial arrangement. The cat is the one domesticated animal that deep down still thinks it's wild. People in Southeast Asia around that same time started keeping wild jungle fowl as pets. They noticed some birds laid more eggs than others. These birds became chickens. People in South America got into the act too. They bred the first turkeys, guinea pigs, and llamas. 6,000 years ago, nomads in Ukraine tamed the wild horse, transforming human life forever. People in Egypt 5,000 years ago tamed wild honeybees, the first domesticated insect. The list continues to expand as dozens of wild animals like hamsters, goldfish, rabbits, hedgehogs, and others have been bred for pets. Although being domesticated has brought a lot of changes to how animals evolved, living among humans has benefited them too. When animals became pets or farm animals, they got food, shelter, and protection. This helps them stay safe and healthy.